Hello, kindergarten friends. Today we're going to be doing some artwork based off of that story you just listened to called Snippets. So today you're going to get a bunch of these colored pieces of paper. They might be uh, shapes like this that are like cut, already cut up. Uh, there's just going to be a lot of snippets of papers that you're going to have at your table that you're going to be working with. And you have to be the artist today and be very creative with what you create. Okay. To get started, you're going to, first of all, glue down five different snippets of paper. Okay, so what is a snippet? Well, it could be any uh, shape that you find that you find interesting and maybe you could draw on it. So I kind of like this one and I could cut into it a little bit more if I'd like to. I can make it a different shape. I think I might keep that down here. But I think I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to throw this off to the side here. And I'm just going to glue down five different snippets of paper. So I'm going to take my glue stick, carefully take off the lid. Sometimes, if there's no glue left here, so if you're working with this and you run out of glue and it's all the way done, then you can ask me for a new one and I'll show you where it's at. Okay. But when you're working on it, you just take the bottom here and you turn it just a little bit so you have just a little bit of glue coming out. Okay. If it's down like this, too low, and you can't get to it, that's okay. You just go up a little bit, and you should have a little to work with. You never want to take it and go too high, though. If you do that, it will fall out, or it might get into the lid. So please, just a little bit each time. As you run out, you just twist it up. I'm going to glue this shape down onto the piece of paper. So when I glue, I want to always go on the edge. Always on the edge. Now, this glue stick is purple but it's disappearing purple so eventually this will just uh, fade away and you won't be able to see it. But I go on the edge and then sometimes a little bit in the middle and this creates a sticker that you could stick it down wherever you'd like now. And I think I'm going to take mine, I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to press it down on the edges smoothing it out and I'm going to hold it now when I count to ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you know it's glued down when you see the sides are all the way down, they're not sticking up. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do a few more. So I need four more because I, I want to have five. I found this snippet earlier on. I kind of like this. It's a triangle, and I think I'm going to put it over here. Okay? So I'm going to turn it over, glue the edges. And then I just press it down. After a while, I don't need to count out loud. I'm just going to count in my head while I'm doing this. So I'm already at six. And that would be ten. Okay. So I did that one in my head when I counted. Let's see here. Uh, let's just find an old scrap and see if we can do something. Probably not white because you wouldn't be able to see that. Um, ooh, I kind of like this one. Maybe this one is another purple. This actually was cut over here. Maybe I go over here with this one. They can be tiny too. They don't have to be really big. Okay. Let me try a different color. Uh, maybe I take this triangle and I'll cut off some edges. Or maybe Oh, I know. I can make a smaller triangle by cutting right here. All right. I think I might put this one maybe over here. That's four of them. I think I want one a little bit different. Ooh, look at that one. That one's kind of fun. Hmm. And let me show you how to make one of those, guys. So here's a way you can do it, too. You could take a piece of paper, and you could fold it in half. And I'm going to cut on this, this side right here. And I'm going to see if I can make a really cool shape. I'm just going to maybe cut a curvy shape. I don't think it really has a name, this one. We'll see what it turns out like. 
things. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting shape there. Ooh, that's symmetrical. I might put this one, looks like I have some room up here. Uh, maybe I'll put it right here. Always go on the edge, a little bit there, turn it over, and let's put this one down right here. Okay, it looks like they're all staying down. Sometimes I check it and I'll take my paper and I'll shake it a little bit. If they stay on there, that means it's pretty good if they're not coming up. I think I did a really good job with my gluing part today. The next part, uh, we're going to take a Sharpie marker, and this is where the fun part comes. You get to change these shapes, and you get to turn, in them, turn them into something else. So I want to make little snippets here. I think I might do, I'm going to put some legs on this one. You could even do like some snippet animals. I'm just going to go ahead and draw some legs on this one. Maybe some shoes. little snippet here and then the eyes are kind of fun you can go ahead and do two circles and you can put a dot in the middle if you want to you can have some fun with these two guys this one's gonna be like an alien snippet maybe he's confused I think alright for this one maybe you know you could turn it into something too like I could have a line that could come over here. We could turn some of these into buildings if we'd like. Like this one kind of looks like a building, so I'm going to actually give it a door right here. And, and then maybe I put, you know, some lines. I could put a chimney on it. Maybe this comes over here. Oh, maybe this is like a, you could have like a car. Maybe I'll leave that for later on. Maybe like a ramp right here. Or a car could come and ramp over this and jump way over. That'd be kind of fun. Um, maybe this one over here. Maybe, oh, maybe I'll give it wings. Use your imagination. Have some fun with these today, guys. And see what you can come up and what can you make with different types of shapes. Uh, that you really don't even, you didn't plan on, and you just kind of see what happens when you start creating. Well, that's kind of fun. Maybe some lines to make it look like they're moving. There's my ramp, and maybe over here, this is a kind of a yellow one, maybe I turn this into, I don't know, maybe like it's a kite. It kind of looks like a kite maybe flying away. Maybe I go like this and somebody's flying a kite over here. Maybe there's a tail over coming over here. All right, guys. So that's just kind of the start there. You can have some fun today creating. But five shapes start off with. If you want to do more than five, then later you can come in and you can actually put more into it to add to your picture to make it a fun little snippet artwork. All right, guys. Good luck with your work.